The UAW is at it again. Tesla Energy is making a deal in the Northeast and a couple of miscellaneous bits. Here are your Tesla tidbits for May 15th, 2017. Tesla just posted to their blog that the UAW is back at it. The company has received multiple calls from separate journalists at different publications poking at safety issues within the factory. Tesla did address this during a previous communication regarding union accusations, but if at first you don't succeed, keep throwing yourself at it the same thing, I guess. Tesla says that some of the publications contacting them have rejected covering the story because it isn't based in fact, but on a few anecdotes. Tesla admits that in its past, things were a bit less than optimal on the worker satisfaction front. However, it does show how far it's come. Tesla has added a third shift to dramatically reduce overtime in the factory. Following this, the average hours worked by employees is now 42 hours, decreasing the level of overtime in the factory by 60%. They also added an ergonomist in 2013 and established a full team in 2015. The engineering of Model 3 was designed with ergonomics in mind, and the Model S and Model X production processes have been improved with ergonomics in mind. Every department now has a safety team that meets regularly to recommend improvements, and the company is continuing to establish health and safety management procedures as it grows. As a result of these things, between Q1 2016 and Q1 2017, the company saw a 52% reduction in lost time accidents and a 30% reduction in recordable incidents. Also through the end of Q1 2017, the number of total recordable incidents, which is the leading metric for workplace safety, was at 4.6. This is a staggering 32% better than the industry average of 6.7, putting Tesla at the forefront of factory safety. Tesla states that its goal is to, quote, become the safest factory in the auto industry, end quote. And then in Tesla fashion, PR couldn't resist taking a swipe at the competition in the UAW, quote, the alternative is to stop improving and to instead do what the rest of the industry, including the UAW, has always done. But being industry average would make our safety 32% worse. We care too much about our team to go backwards, end quote. Wow, shots fired. I'll keep you posted as this continues to develop. Electrek reports that Tesla Energy has struck a deal with Green Mountain Power, a utility in Vermont, to get power walls into customers' hands as well as deploy power packs at the utility level. The idea would see the utility itself deploy power packs to help stabilize the grid at the utility level, but also offer power wall to subscribers at a considerable discount to help stabilize it from a customer level. The deal is payment of either $15 a month or a one-time payment of $1,500, granting access to the equipment for 10 years. Now, this is interesting because part of the deal is of the extreme discount is Green Mountain's ability to use the power within the Powerwall on demand as well and to be paid for it. Quote, Powerwall customers who allow Tesla and the utilities to use their battery when energy demand is highest will not only have home backup power, but will also receive compensation for its use on the grid. End quote. Details on the payment to the customers were not in the article, but even without the payments, a $1,500 Powerwall on your home is a huge benefit considering the cost is $6,200 before installation normally. Lastly tonight, just a couple of miscellaneous tidbits. Firstly, our first multi-coat red Model 3 has been cited, and she's a beauty. Secondly, per Model 3 Owners Club, which has had a very reliable source, apparently nearly a hundred Model 3s are within traveling distance of me here in Ohio for independent crash testing. This explains why they've been seen around here. And lastly, a rather strange find from Reddit user Chris Torella. He spied a Model S P100D Ludicrous in Michigan, which wouldn't normally be extraordinary, except it had manufacturer's plates and it was a right-hand drive car. Neat sighting, Chris. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Many thanks to super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, John Waller, and Mark and Sarah Thomas for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Thanks as well to yet another new patron, Jay Siegel. If you have nothing extra to spare, though, please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and other services across the Internet. Lastly, if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can get yourself $1,000 off while supporting the show and super patron Drew Schuyler by using the referral link ts.la slash andrew1233. That's all for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. See you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.